Tupac Shakur, a gangster rapper that has dominated the hip hop scene within the 90s but was unfortunately shot and killed. He had a very short stint in prison and when he did go into prison, he had time to reflect and also came across a book called The Art of War, which I'm going to discuss. Now, The Art of War is a strategy book which helps you to navigate through difficult obstacles in life. Now, if you are in business, uh, you, you're going to have competition in business with your competitors. And with business and war, there are some synergies and similarities. You have teams, you have competitions try to outmaneuver you and dominate the market steal your customers so going back to tupac he not only just spat the art of war in his lyrics he actually lived by the the rules of the art of war which i'm going to discuss i find the art of war book very interesting and there's also other books i've followed on the back of art of war such as the 48 laws of power which is a more of a modern day version of the art of war which has used these concepts it's a very difficult and tricky book to understand the art of war it's not straightforward how it's written that it was written by Sun Tzu but let's just go into discussing how to rap out Tupac to call Mr. Machiavelli the Don often found inspiration in Sun Tzu's book he used his ideas in the music and life he applied strategies and resilience to overcome challenges in his personal life Tupac was a very outspoken individual on social and political issues he focused on understanding power flexibility and staying alert to handle life difficulties his mother was a black panther and that's where he was got his outspokenness from let's discuss now how Tupac implemented this principles of art of war in his life and his career so the first one I picked up was strategic alliances example was signing up with death row records Records. Tupac knew he needed powerful alliances to strengthen his position in the music industry. After facing legal troubles and needing support, he signed with Death Row Records, a dominant label run by Suge Knight. This provided him with resources, production, and a platform to elevate his career. Now, there are downsides of signing for Death Row Records, but that's for another episode. Number two is understanding the environment. Examples include addressing social issues in his music example Tupac was deeply aware of the struggles faced by black communities in America he uses songs to highlight issues like systematic racism police brutality and poverty tracks like Brenda's got a baby and changes are powerful commentaries on social issues connecting deeply with his audience and basically reflecting his experience number three in the art of war is adaptability example versatility in music style tupac didn't stick to just one style or theme in his music he could release hardcore rap tracks like hit em up to assert his dominance those were mainly for the streets and then drop reflective emotional songs like dear mama which talks about his love and respect for his mother this adaptability kept his music fresh and relatable to broader audiences using perception and image crafting his persona tupac carefully manage his public image he was seen as a both as a tough street savvy rapper and a sensitive poet for the ladies this dual image allowed him to appeal to a wide range of fans his tattoo bandanas and outspoken interviews created a strong sauna that stood out in the music industry knowing when to attack number five knowing when to attack and when to retreat responding to conflicts in the feud between the east coast and west coast rappers tupac was very strategic he didn't back down from conflicts and chose his battles wisely his just tracks like hit him up were direct and powerful but also he knew when to step back and focus on his music and message rather than just his feud on that note i know that biggie and puffy are here tonight um did you see them do you have anything to say to them at all nah, but if we even if we saw them we're not we are businessmen we are not animals it's not like we're gonna see them and rush them maintaining vigilance staying alert and preparation tupac was always aware of the dangers and opportunities around him he often spoke about threats he faced from legal system rivals and even within the music industry this awareness helped to navigate through his career despite numerous challenges and threats. By incorporating these strategies, Tupac demonstrated a deep understanding of Sun Tzu's art of war, applying its principles to survive and thrive in the harsh realities of his life and the competitive world of hip hop. Tupac knew that he had to use these strategies, especially in the industry that he is, because it's a very cutthroat industry and basically being a black man in America facing 
police brutality himself. He knew he had basically had to navigate through using certain strategies to get him boy. I think he used the art of war very cleverly and in a savvy manner. And it wasn't just about Tupac's music, it was a lot more deeper than that, From the, just from the lyrics. So there you are guys, how Tupac implemented the art of war by Sun Tzu. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel, hit the bell notification, and I'm going to be putting out a lot more similar content going forward. And I'll see you in the next one.